All right, we're gonna make a YouTube video on how to cut a spring. Let's make sure you're barefooted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a full coil. So I'm gonna cut right about here. All right, now we're gonna let the spring cool down. I don't wanna to put too much heat in it. But it's cold here. It gets warm, oh, it's getting hot here. So, yeah, we just don't wanna get any heat in the spring to change its temper. So this won't affect much, but the next cut will generate a lot of heat. All right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut in half level what we're gonna do is try to make it run this whole length right here down to zero you can see that so basically I'm just gonna flatten the top of the spring off so it's more like the bottom So we'll take a couple breaks. This is going to put a lot of heat in the metal. You can see it's starting to discolor. So. All right, turn the spring over. You can see it looks good from below. Still black from the top. Sitting out in the sun to dry. This is some bicycle inner tube if you can see that this is that real thick inner tube the puncture proof inner tubes they sell which I would never use on a bicycle but it's gonna be my rubber because the old rubber gasket was shot so just get that slid on there This really helps with the uh, metal to metal contact. Nice little isolator. Insulator. These are about the dullest tin snips. But there you go. Well, that's it. Springs in. You could see in the very front of the lower control arm is there's a, a notch that's where the beginning of the spring needs to sit that looks pretty good nice red spring got a fairly new white shock in there there you go drop spindles installed cotter pins are all on everything's been greased
pretty well. I rolled the fender too. Tuck that edge in. Put it down low. It's as low as I care to go for now.